don't know. I don't know, man. I mean, Nike, join brand, you feel me? I made with y'all heavy, you know what I'm saying? You know I made with you the long way. You seen my sneaker room, you seen the video, you know what I'm saying, if y'all listening. But, uh, I mean, with these here, though, like, some of this stuff, where's the, where's the motivation behind it, man? Some stuff I just think y'all just be throwing out there, you know what I'm saying? Throw it at the wall, see where the stick. Man, let's go on and get into these releases, Rich Nation. Let's do it. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all today? I hope everybody, each and every one of y'all is having a blessed day today, man. I hope y'all feeling good today. Uh, sorry that I'm in the car, man. I'm on the go all week this week. My tooth finally started feeling a little bit better, man. So, wisdom tooth got pulled action. Y'all know the beginning, man. So, I'm trying to figure out what's going on with Jordan Brand with some of these releases, man. And I ain't going to waste none of, no more time, but let's go ahead and get into them. You feel me? Uh, I'm going to pick my daughter up for school. This is how busy you boy be. I be at work, long days of work, and then I got to go do an upcoming sneaker relief video on the way to go pick my daughter up for school. I might finish it back at the crib. We will see what's happening with it. So, first of all, I want to see if this is true, man. I want to see. I heard rumors. I'm seeing like little uh, images where they kind of do like uh, mock-ups of the shoe and stuff like that. I want to see if it's true. The Air Jordan 12 royalty things? What? What? What these is? Rich Nation, what they is, man? They look like, they look like, I mean, I mean, come on. I mean, I got Taxi 12. So I ain't really hard up for Taxi 12 like that. I ain't really tripping. I ain't really saying, hey man, go in here and release the Taxi 12. Cause I get tired when people say, why don't you just give us these? Why don't you just give us these? You know what I'm saying? But they did give us these. They gave us these nuts. And gave us some royalty, gonna give us some royalty Jordan 12s. Look, just like tw taxis with hits of gold. I mean, they just keep taking from us. When they gonna stop taking from us? When they gonna stop taking? Comment below if you know where that came from. Anyway, man, the shoe is fire. It looks like a Taxi 12s. It got hits of gold for no reason. And um, but the Taxi 12s had hits of gold up there by the laces. So I'm just saying, why add that little tab in the middle? Why not just make the shoe a Taxi 12? Everything is there. You got everything you need. You got all your tools to, I mean, the suit. I mean, I feel like the shoe gonna sell out anyway, but you got all your tools to make the Taxi 12. Why not release a Taxi 12 on it? Why that, that? Why that ain't a taxi twelve? Y'all comment below and let me know. Man, let's go to the next shoe. Speaking of twelves, but what these is? Man, what these is right here? Air Jordan twelve utility things. Utility, I guess they probably be like for cold weather, whatever. Real thick, like gristle materials and stuff like that. Yes, I said gristle. But bro, what these is, man? Trash can. Water is what they is. Honestly, from the midsole to the upper, I think they clean. That bottom though, that bottom, bottom kills the whole shoe. That look like that stuff that be under the carpet, the cushion up under the carpet. When you when somebody lay carpet in your house, that what that look like to me. It look like carpet cushion, carpet cushion twelves, man. Ass can water, not track can, ass can. I don't even know what an ad can is, ad can. Water on these, man. Not copping. Two not cops, what I ain't gonna say. I don't know, man. I don't know about the other ones. I don't know about the, uh, 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 the, 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 the big lights taxis. I don't know about them. I don't, I don't know about them. I don't know if they're copping that rich nation. I don't know. But, but these right here, man, these are definitely, you can pocket those. Cause I'm good, Nike. Thanks for consideration. Just got to Harley School and I just thought about what those the bottom of them twelves look like. It ain't it ain't the stuff under the carpet cushion. It looked like that too. But it also looked like dryer lint. Like when you clean your dry out, when you clean the lint trap out, that dryer lint twelves, man. That's what they look like. Oh, back at the house. And the next shoe I want to get into is the elephant in the room. A shoe coming out in a couple of weeks. I think next weekend is the Air Jordan 1. Uh, Shadow 2.0, 2.0, oh, 2.0, what? What why are we doing the 2.0 of the shadows? Like, I know, I know a lot of people might have missed out on the first shadow, um, but the first shadow is killing these. I'm sorry, I haven't even seen this shoe in hand yet, but the materials, the color, all that stuff, it looks okay. Look like a dope shoe. I might even try to cop it, but 
I'm sorry, but the OG shadows hand head over heels are better than these right here. To me, you know what I'm saying? In my humble opinion. Like I said, still might cop. Got a whole lot of Jordan ones. I don't know, but you will be getting a review from me. You know what I'm saying? If nothing else. To me, the materials like look a little cheap. I ain't gonna cap. Look a little little boot leggish, if you will. You know what I'm saying? I love the texture and the shine of the original leather on the OGs. That's just that's just me. But I don't know. Shadow 2.0 is what y'all thinking, man. What are y'all thinking of these? Are y'all going after them copping? Let your boy reach no. Oh, switching gears away from Jordans a little bit, we have the LeBron 8 South Beach. First time this shoe is retroing. This shoe is a shoe I've always liked. I ain't gonna cap. I've never been a big hype beast for South Beach 8s like a lot of people. I actually like the Miami Vice um, South Beach 9s better than these right here. But I'm gonna try to cop. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what size I wear in LeBron 8s. I know in LeBron 7s, I wear true to size. But a lot of LeBron start getting a little tight on your feet. Um, but these right here, man, I like them. It got vacation vibes, but they, it's crazy because they look way more stumperish, like just clunk, clunk, clunky than they did back when they first came out. So um, we'll just see how them things look on feet and what kind of fits you can drip with them because they look a little, they look a little elephant, elephant foot-ish a little bit. Um, but I love the colorway, love the South Beach vibes. I wish I had one of them. Uh, I'm sure they're gonna start retro on them, the, like the Le LeBron uh, South Beach jersey or something like that uh, to rock with it, man. Vacation vibes all day. I really like this shoe colorway. Like I said, South Beach colorway is just dope. Um, but I, I'm going after the shoe. I'm definitely going after it. I feel like I'd be able to get that shoe and not have to pay $500 for it. You know what I'm saying? Because resale had been sky high on that shoe. That was on. That was usually a shoe that you'll see somebody rocking in like sneaker con or some kind of convention um, and stuff like that, man. Somebody bring them out when they really want to put some heat on. But last few years, like basketball shoes, besides Jordans, haven't been really getting a whole lot of love. Like so, a lot of these LeBrons and even some of the Kobe's had been uh, a little bit easier to get. Not the Grinches, but like uh, mostly like a lot of the retro LeBrons they've been coming out with been fairly easy to get um so but I'm definitely going after these so now I want to go over the Air Jordan 1 AJKO Chicago things one of my first videos was the AJKO Royals and I was like going crazy I was I was slick hyping the shoes up I ain't gonna cap but back then I ain't gonna lie, my standards was a little different from now. I got so many more shoes now. I got like over 30 pairs of Jordan 1s. Back then, I probably had like four pairs of Jordan 1s. And I was like, oh man, it's the Royal Colorway. It's the this and that. But AJKO Slick Trick and Waterfall. I know they OGs. I know, I know they OGs. But AJKO, man. Jordan 1 AJKO Slick Trick and Water, man. These right here. With the white heel on them, I'm not feeling the vibes, Rich Nation. I'm not feeling the vibes on these, man. Y'all come below and let me know if y'all feeling the vibes. I'm not feeling the vibes. They they, they slick ugly. Slick track at water. <laughs> they ain't gonna count to me. This is my opinion, my humble opinion, but hey, you can pocket those, Nike. You can pocket those. Keep them for yourselves, friends and family. You know, plethora. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, not get them no cop man, let's, do, let's do a couple more man i'm feeling good today let's do a couple of more sneakers man rich nation y'all in here with me i appreciate y'all for joining me on this video man let's go ahead and do a couple of more this one right here speaking of trash can water and i've been speaking of a lot of trash can water in this video d right i need some sunglasses that sun is just like right here. I, man d right here. okay jordan ones we've been doing good on jordan ones jordan brand i applaud y'all for doing good but these right here uh, Air Jordan 1 uh, Pro? Air Jordan 1 High Pro? Uh, some they, they would say they were calling them. Where these here, man? Where these here? Well, ever since the Union Jordan 1 came out, I've been like really experimental with the collar versus the upper with the colors and the heel and all. Man, what these? Like, when you did the Biohex, the Baruch Browns, I appreciated that. It's something different. But these I can't vibe with. I gotta see them in hand, see what the material is looking like. But these right here, man, not you know, bad taste in my mouth, man. <laughs> I ain't feeling these, man. For now, it's a tentative. Not even gonna think about copping, but you know what I'm saying. We see them in hand. The material is crazy. The color look different in person. You know, people been known to change their mind, but for right now, 
Slick track cam. Whoa. The next sneaker on our list is let's go with a collab, man. Let's go with a collab. And I got one question when it comes to these right here. Why did the Air Jordan 4 get a, a, a second set of unions and the Air Jordan 1 didn't? I think it was two of these. I just want to talk about this colorway. Kind of dope. Kind of remind me of the Travis Scott's that just came out as far as, not the color, I mean, but as far as the the, the tanned, thick suede on them things mixed with colors that pop. I like the way that go together when you do that uh, neutral color, but you you hit them with that pop too. You got the green and blue pop going on with the um with the good, nice tan suede buttery leather. You feel me? So I like those vibes. I'm not a big fan of the Union that tongue. I know you can flip it up and unstitch it and all that stuff, but the Union fours, they were just all right to me. The Union ones, I just I just if they if they would bring out if Union bring out another collab with Jordan with the Jordan ones. I have to get them some kind of way. Um, you know what I'm saying? That's just like one of the ones that got away the junior, the Union Jordan ones. But these are cool, man. Um, I might go after them, try it for retail. If I can't get them retail or a little bit over retail, then sleeping. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So y'all comment below and tell me what y'all think of the Air Jordan 4 Union. I can't remember the name of this colorway, but it is a fire colorway in my humble, also humble opinion. All right, so I hate, I absolutely hate showing images like this when they don't have the full official image or at least a uh, image of somebody who actually got the shoe or a good image but i go ahead and talk about it we can end the video with these right here these uh air jordan 6 bordeaux this is like the first quote unquote images somebody showing the shoe in their hand but they like blocked out every other thing so you can see it real good but from this image like i when i first talked about the shoe i was like track him what man i i'm not really a crazy fan of them using a really popular colorway on one silhouette and slapping it on another silhouette this bordeaux color is made for the jordan sevens because it is if y'all know if y'all been listening to my channel if y'all been paying attention for the last few years their jordan seven bordeaux is my favorite sneaker of all times a lot of sentimental value and other reasons for that shoe just 1992 vibes something about 1992 i was 10 years old and I was just that, that shoe is like the most nostalgic shoe ever for me I actually had it one of the only Jordans I had when I was a little kid they are Jordan 7 Bordeaux but this one right here at first I was like man I don't like that don't put the Bordeaux colorway on those sevens but I ain't gonna cap just from this small little picture right here that ain't even showing a lot of details it's looking promising it looking like it might be fire and me being a, such a fan of the Bordeaux 7 who am I not to go ahead and cop the Bordeaux 6 to make it you know a little set or something like that I got 2011 Bordeaux 7 I got 2015 Bordeaux 7 and you know and I almost got the Bordeaux 7 lows I almost got them but um, Bordeaux 6s, man, comment below what y'all thinking. Like I said, I've been seeing all kind of mock-ups for this shoe until now. And I guess this is what the version the shoe is going to look like. Probably next week or in the next couple of days, we're going to get really good detailed images of the shoe. But for right now, I'm thinking that I might cop these, man. So anyway, I appreciate y'all for watching. Appreciate y'all for watching this, man. Upcoming sneaker. You know what I'm saying? Y'all comment below what y'all going after, what you like in this video, and what you think is trash can water because there's a lot of garbage pail juice sprinkled within these re upcoming sneaker releases. 2021 overall, I'm not super impressed, but I will say it's a whole lot better sneaker yet than I thought it would be, man. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, y'all comment below and let me know what y'all think about the little things, man. Y'all hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Hit the notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to the moon on them. To the moon. You feel me? And keep watching my video because that's what I'm here for. Go on. Call up the plug, hit me a lick. Early kids from Retro Rick. New air bubble like helium lift. So as the bless, thank God for the gift. Yeah, it's a hit. Premium fit. No barbecue, but this is it. Hold up, rock, rock, just might hit. With riches kicks, I mean my rich. Yeah, ballin' all the way to the moon on them. Space Jam going on the tune on them. Sweeping y'all haters, get the broom on them. New heat coming real soon on them. Yeah, my rich fans shouted, that's what I cop the gift for. Thank you for watching these vids, that's what I'm here for. Gone. All the way up to the moon on them. What's happening to everybody? Yeah. Like so lighty daddy. Bless. Hit that Nike store just like your girl hit Hobby Lobby. Yeah. Then we fly to Abu Dhabi. Then we gone straight up to the moon on them.
Thank you.